Good morning, dear students. The first drug for discussion today is on the screen. It is known as Satahwa, S A T A H W A, also known as Satapuspa, S A T A P U S H P A, Satahwa or Satapuspa. Another pictorial demonstration of the Satahwa or Satapuspa, which is also known as Dil, D I L L. Dill seed is an ancient Indian spice. Its seeds, seed oil, and whole plant is used in Indian culinary. It is mainly used in digestive disorders. It is also called as Indian dill. Botanical name Anethan soya, synonymously Pusherinum graviolens. It belongs to family Umbelliferae. Regarding habit of the drug, this plant grows up to 40 to 60 centimeter. The stems are clad with lashy, delicate, aromatic leaves of blue-green color. These leaves are flussy type, divided into fine pinnate structures. These have best flavor during the opening of first flower. The flowers of the Satapuspa are hermaphrodite. These are pollinated by bees. The yellow scented flowers of the plant blooms and develop into large flat compounds known as umbels. The seeds are also enriched with aromatic character. Seeds are not of two kind seeds. These are flat, small and very light. Part used of the drug are fruits and essential oils. It is indicated in Jwara fever, diseases of kapha and vata predominance, vrana, non-healing wounds, Shula, abdominal colicky pain, axiroga, eye disorders, axivrana, ulcers in the eye and in pastikarma, as enema in panchakarma therapy. The second drug on the screen is sati, S H A T I, sati. Sati, hadisium spicatum, is a plant mentioned in Ayurveda for the treatment of swelling, diseases of oral cavity, alopecia, sinusitis, diseases of respiratory tract, and indigestion. Its Latin name is Hadicium spicatum, also known by the name Curcuma theodoria. Both these plants are used in the name of Sati. They belong to family Gingivaraci. Regarding habit of Sati is a small shrub growing to a height of 2 to 3 feet and is found in the Himalayan range and mountains of Himachal Pradesh. Sikkim, Nepal and Bhutan. The rhizome is white colored inside, long, bitter and has a strong odor and flavor. The leaves are 10 to 12 inches long, wide and smooth. Flowers are white colored with slightly reddish stigma. The fruits are round and are seen in the rainy season. The plant is a native to China, Myanmar and Ethiopia. Part used is rhizome and it is indicated in Mukha Veresha, bed breath, maladorgandia, bed smelling, sweat, urine and feces, kasha, cough and cold, vrana, ulcers and wounds, swasa, asthma and chronic respiratory disorders, shula, abdominal colic pain, hidma is hiccup, jwara is fever, Rakta Shodhaka, extract of Kachura. Kachura is another synonym of Shati, along with paper in cold. As antifungal, essential oil is used. The third drug on the screen here, it is Snuhi, S-N-U-H-I. Snuhi, Euphorbia nerifolia, is also called as Sehund is an Ayurvedic herb used for the treatment of swelling, for purgation, cough, rhinitis and piles. Its Latin name is Euphorbia nerifolia. It belongs to family Euphorbiaceae. It is a small size tree or big shrub growing to a height of 10 to 20 feet in dry regions of India. The genus has over or about 200 thousand members. 
the trunk and the branches are modified into a round or irregular shape. The leaves are shrunk into spikes, fleshy in nature. Flowers, when viewed as a whole, looks like a single flower. It has a unique kind of pseudontium called a cytium, where each flower in the head is reduced to its barest essential part needed for sexual reproduction. The flowers have no sepal, no petal, or other parts that are typical of flowers in other kinds of plants. The fruits are 0.5 cm long. Flowers and fruits are seen in the spring season. Parties are root, leaf, milky latex. It is indicated in sul, abdominal colic pain, ama, a product of indigestion and altered metabolism. Kapha jagulma, tumor of kapha origin. Udara, ascites, enlargement of the abdomen, unmada, schizophrenia, meha, diabetes, urinary tract disorders, kushta skin diseases, arsa, hemorrhoids, sotha, swelling and inflammation, meda, obesity and high cholesterol, asmari, kidney and bladder stones, pandu, anemia, vrana, ulcers and wounds, admana, blotting, gaseous distension of abdomen, jwara is fever and pleha, diseases of the spleen, especially splenomegaly. Now on the screen, a beautiful plant, as the name suggests, Sringataka, S-R-I-N-G-A-T-A-K-A, -A -A, Sringataka, demonstration of Sringataka, Sringataka, Trapa Bispinosa is an Ayurvedic herb used for the treatment of bleeding disorders, dysuria, polyuria, edema and also used as nutritional supplement. Its Latin name is Trapa bispinosa or Trapa natans. It belongs to family Trapeci. Habit aquatic floating herb with submerged roots. Stem ascending in the water, submerged parts furnished with numerous pairs of green root like spreading pectinate or gams. Leaves are simple, alternate, crowded on the upper part of the stem, 4 to 5 cm long and 7 to 4 to 7 centimeter wide rhomboidal with a triangular apex somewhat truncate and entire at the base green mottled with brown glabrous and shining above reddish purple and pubescent beneath petiole is up to 12.5 centimeter long flowers are few axillary white opening above the surface of water fruits are obovoid bony angular with a short conical beak in the center. Part used are fruit pulp and fruit powder. Indications, stroma, dryness or fatigue so far or inflammation and swelling. Here on the screen, the drug is called Swaranak Siri, S-W-A-R-N-A-K-S-H-I-R-R, Swaranak Siri, Arzeman Mexicana. A source for biodiesel is used in Ayurveda to treat non-healing wounds, constipation, malaria, chronic fever, etc. It is also used in Birechina or Pargation in Panchakarma therapy. Its botanical name is Arzemon Mexicana or Euphorbia Thomsoniana. It belongs to family Papaveraceae. Regarding habit of the drug, it is a robust prickly herb. Stem is erect, almost woody below, cylindrical, sparingly branched, solid, greenish, spiny, and having yellowish latex. Leaves are alternate, sessile, deeply cut with spiny teeth. White spotted, prickly, prickles scattered all over the ribs on the back and reticulate venation. Inflorescence is solitary, terminal. Flowers are yellow in color, has six petals. Fruits are spiny capsules. Part used are root, seed, latex, seed oil. It is indicated in creamy, warm infestation, visha, toxic conditions and poisoning, raktaji, useful in blood disorders such as abscesses, skin disorders, bleeding disorders such as menorrhagia, nasal bleeding, etc. And uh, raktapitta, bleeding disorders such as nasal bleeding, heavy periods, etc. 
motor crusher, dysuria and urinary retention, asthma, kidney and bladder stones, so far inflammation, the burning sensation as in gastritis, neuropathy, burning sensation in eyes, jwara, fever, kandu, itching and pruritis, anaha, blotting and fullness, kamalai, jandis and liver disease. Each tea is used in mainly for malaria in Mali. Mali is a country. So, here on the screen you have this drug which is a bit controversial. Tagara Heleriana wellichi is a plant described in Ayurveda for the treatment of wounds, arthritis, cough, asthma, general debility, skin disease, fever and cases of animal bite. Its Latin name is Valeriana wallichi, belongs to family Valerianaceae. Habit is hairy perennial herb, rootstock is thick, horizontal, stem is 15 to 45 centimeter high, easily tufted. Leaves are basal leaves are often 2.5 to 7.5 centimeter in diameter, long stalked, deeply corded of it, easily toothed or sinuous. Much smaller anterior or pinnate. Fruits are hairy. Produce is root. Indications are root, psychiatric disorders, antimicrobialism, murder, intoxication, apasmara, epilepsy, visha, toxic congestions and poisoning, chakchuroga, eye disorders, seroroga, headache, rectorosa, blood impurity and fissation, disorders such as acne, skin diseases, bleeding disorders, etc., sulaise, abdominal, colicky pain. Now on the screen, this is a known drug, Taila Parani, T A I L A P A R N I, Taila Parani. Eucalyptus oil used in the present Ayurvedic pharmaceutic industries for the treatment of nasal congestion, arthritis, pain relief, etc. Its botanical name is Eucalyptus globulus and it belongs to family Mictaceae. Habit is a gigantic tree, bark is smooth, peeling off in long streaks, which often remain hanging on the stem or branches. Leaves are 20 to 25 centimeter long, palcate, curved, rather thick, and glaucous. Flowers are large, axillary, 1 to 3, together, nearly sessile. Fruits are 1.8 to 2.5 centimeter in diameter, warty, angular, and palps are actual. Part used are leaves oil extracted from the leaves and tree and exuded. Now the indications of Nilgiri Taylor or Eucalyptus oil or Taylor Parani are Jantu, warm infestation, Jirna Kas, cough and cold of chronic origin. Pratishaya, running nose and coriza, swaraveda, hoarseness of voice, juara is fever, sirasula is headache, puya meha, pyuria, chaya, depletion of body tissues, weight loss, tuberculosis, swasa, asthma and chronic respiratory disorders, acne mind, low digestion strength, vasti roga, urinary tract disorders, karnasola, ear ache, and ruja in pain. Now on the screen, you have the drug called Tala Muli, T A L A M U L I, Tala Muli, Black Mosley, Curculigo Orchioides is an Ayurveda herb used for the treatment of sperm deformity, low sperm count, skin and respiratory disorders. It is called Tala Muli in Ayurveda and Kali Mosley in Hindi. The Latin name is Curculigo Orchioides. It belongs to family Amaryllidaceae. Its habit is, it is a small plant with the leaves resembling that of thala or palm, 8 to 18 inches long, 1 to 2 inches wide with ridges. The stalks of the flowers are 1 inch long emerging from the ground. The flowers are yellow, 0.5 to 0.75 inches long in diameter. The fruit are 0.5 inches long. The seeds inside the fruit are black shiny and about 30 millimeter long. The flowers are seen in the month of June 
to August and the leaves shed in the winter, leaving behind a root in the ground. The plant is found all over India. Part use this root. It is indicated in daha, burning sensation as in gastritis, neuropathy, burning sensation in eyes, etc. High pitta disorders such as gastritis, hyperacidity. Now on the screen, the beautiful flower, taruni, T-A-R-U-N-I, taruni. Rose, Rosa indica is commonly known as Indian cabbage rose. It is a plant which is abundantly cultivated throughout the world for its cosmetic value and medicinal purpose. It is medicinally used for blood purification, treatment of intestinal ulcer, diarrhea and anti-inflammatory action. In India, about 150 original varieties and more than 2500 hybrid varieties of roses are found. Botanical name is Rosa indica. It is also known by the name Rosa centifolia and Rosa damascena simultaneously. Family Rosaceae. Habit is a prickly serb. Prickles are unequal, large hooked. Leaves compound usually having five leaflets, pubescent on both sides or sometimes only beneath. Flowers usually pink in color, seen on long and slender pedicles, fragrant petals are inflexed and sepals are persistent. Part use the fresh or dried flower petals. Indicated in mukha pakagni, indicated in mouth ulcers. Trishna, indicated in excessive thirst. Chardi, indicated in excessive vomiting. Now on the screen, you can see Tavakshira, Kurkuma angustifolia, is a plant mentioned in Ayurveda for the treatment of cough, dyspnea, general debility fever and diarrhea. Its Latin name is Curcuma angustifolia. It belongs to the family Gingivaraceae. Regarding the habit of Tavakshira is a small herb growing to a height of 1 to 2 feet and resembling turmeric plant. Leaves are typically simple, green, glabrous and lanceolate with margins that are entire. They appear in an opposite arrangement and are deciduous. They are 1 to 2 feet long and 2 to 3 inches wide. The leaf stalk is 0.5 to 1 foot long. The flowers are 1 inch long and yellow green in color. They are seen in the rainy season. The plant is seen in the hilly regions of India and cultivated in Bengal and South India for its medicinal properties. The rhizome which can grow up to 4 feet is dug from the earth, dried well and later powdered before being used in medicinal purposes. The part used is rhizome and its indications are recta pitta, bleeding disorders such as nasal bleeding and heavy periods etc. Kamala, jandis and liver diseases, pandu, anemia, trishna, excessive thirst, swasa, asthma and chronic respiratory disorders, cough, cough and cold, chair, depletion of body tissues, weight loss, tuberculosis, Asra, blood disorders such as abscesses, skin disorders, bleeding disorders such as menorrhagia and nasal bleeding, etc. Here on the screen, you can see another plant that is widely used in our Indian kitchens that is called Tejapatra, T-E-J-A-P-A-T-R-A. Tejapatra, Chinnamomam Tamala is an Ayurveda herb mentioned for the treatment of bed odor from mouth, black spots on the face, dental caries, swelling, cough and in complications of tuberculosis. Its Latin name is Sinnamomum Tamala and it is also known synonymously as Laurus nobilis. It belongs to the family Laurisi. Tejapatra is a small tree growing to a height of 20 to 30 feet and is seen all over South India and Sri Lanka in the temperate climate. The bark of the tree is little brittle when cut and is brown in color with good odor. The leaves are thick 4 to 7 inches in length with deep vein like structures in the upper surface and have a strong odor when they are crushed. 
flowers are seen in clusters and have strong odor. Fruits are round, purple colored and has a single seed inside. Regarding part use, leaf, bark and oil are being used medicinally. Indications are tikshna, strong and piercing, it is usna, pittala, increases pitta dosa, lagu, light to digest, kapha vatahara, balances kapha and vata doses, mukha sodhana, cleanses the oral cavity, mukha, mastaka sodhana, cleanses the facial skin. So, thank you. Thank you so much.